Oh, we have another one over here, another single. Get out of here, get out of here. Looks like a nice little guy, actually. Go home, bye. Go home to mommy. Go home to mommy. Well, as the saying goes, dad's home and he's brought the belt. Uh, Donald Trump going on full-blown attack mode. And everyone's panicking. And you know what's on the other side of that panic? Fear and respect. Uh, changes are already happening. And it's Trump's not even president yet. Uh, obviously, last night, the big story was Trump talking about tariffs. But the other story is... Mexico said they are stopping all migrant caravans, which begs the question. Okay, I'm curious, maybe. Why didn't they do this before? Why, why didn't they do this before? I, I'm, I'm confused. Why didn't Joe Biden stop the caravans? Why, if all it took was him, him saying like, Hey, this is probably, you know, we don't want this. Within 12 hours of making the announcement, uh, Donald Trump did, Mexico announced that they're stopping all migrants. I don't really know how else I can describe this uh, other than an epic win. Uh, by the way, for this week, Black Friday, a lot of you are thinking about Christmas. Don't forget these amazing meme-filled cookbooks. Almost 100 recipes between the two of them. Um, with, you know, they're all hilarious memes, like, you know, a threat to our Jamaat cookies and orange cheesecake bad, Democrat pan Democratic pander cakes, and uh, the summer edition with, I think, 42 other recipes um, makes a perfect gift for Christmas, like Pelosi's Punch or, uh, you know, Tim Wallace's Creamy Horseradish Sauce or the Trump Tower Zinger Burger, all available on tailgatesfortrump.com. The shutoff or the cutoff for shipping on these is going to be probably next Friday to, uh, or this Friday, I mean. So make sure you order today at tailgatesfortrump.com. Link in the description down below. Breaking. Maxim President announces she is stopping the migrant caravans from arriving at the United States southern border after Trump's tariff threat. See, the left, I told you, you knew because you're smart, good smelling, beautiful people who watch the quartering. These, these tariffs were never, ever really going to go into place. They weren't going to come. They, they were never about being put into place. It's called negotiating. And, you know, while the mainstream media and all these people were saying, er, my girl, it's good. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tariff is a, a tax on the American people. Uh, it's going to, everything's going to be, everything's going to be bad. No, it was never going to happen. You see, Laura Loomer, Donald Trump technically isn't even president yet. And he's done more to secure our border just by existing over the last three weeks than Joe Biden and his DEI borders are. Kamala Harris has done in four years. Can you say louder for all that, for all the tariff experts here on Twitter or on X? All these dorks, even I, I'm not like great, some great economic person. You know, I don't know about really, you know, global economies and, and things of that nature. But I did, I knew that this is all out of the deal. There's a problem with the fact that America can't export our cars to Europe um, because of insane tariffs, yet Europe is importing their cars to America. Now, you apply a tariff to those cars that come to America, and everyone's like, oh my God, my Mercedes Benz is going to cost more money. No. What'll happen is the German government will say, hey, we should probably renegotiate these tariffs because exporting our cars to America is an extremely important, important part of our economy. And then you can import cars to Germany, you can get Fords and Chevys there, and the automakers win. So anybody that like understands the basics of a tariff understood this. You know what I mean? This says it was live streamed by the Mexican government. 
The Mexican government literally live streamed saying we are stopping the migrants. Like it is, you know, like it is so wild to me. That, that's all it took. Automaker shares fall as Trump threatens 25% tariff on Mexico and Canada. Well, I'll tell you what. Seems worthwhile to buy the dip because these tariffs aren't going to ever go into place. These tariffs are designed to incentivize designed to um, incentivize other governments to remove unfair tariffs that they have in America. Companies like General Motors and Stellantis have major manufacturing presences in Mexico and Canada. Well, they're going to have to come back. They're going to have to come back, and they're going to have to hire Americans. Oh no! Isn't that what we wanted? It's so weird to see liberals literally like being pro outsourcing of jobs plus pro immigration. That that dog don't hunt. And by the way, China and Canada respond immediately to Trump's tariff threat and border comments as it happened. Trump announces that he's willing to sign an executive order to charge Mexico and Canada a 25% tariff on all products coming into the United States. So everyone in the liberal media is going to lie to you and be like this is basically a 25% tax on uh, everything you buy that comes from Canada. No, it isn't. Because Canada will come back and say, oh, we have tariffs on American products. Let's come to the negotiation table. Let's get rid of that. And these tariffs never get put in place. You know what I mean? It, that, that's just the reality. China, you know, freaking out. Look at this. Trump takes drastic action against Canada, Mexico, and China to stop the border invasion and issues an ultimatum. President-elect Donald Trump threatened Monday to slap a 25% tariff on the Mexican and Canadian goods as long as the countries allowed immigrants to flow over the U.S. border. Isn't that an interesting thing that the media is all forgetting to, to say? All the media is reporting is 25% tariff, 25% tariff, 25% tariff, 25% tariff. But what about the part where he said, if you continue to let migrants pour over the border? And guess what happened? The second he even threatened that, and again, he's not even president yet, the flow of migrants was immediately shut off. He said that Mexican and Canadian tariffs would apply to all products coming to the United States and its ridiculous open borders. This tariff will remain effect, in effect until such time as drugs, in particular fentanyl, and illegal aliens stop invading this country. Very, I mean, that's called a great business decision. So Mexico has a decision to make. Pay a 25% tariff and have, uh, have to compete with United States manufacturing. See all the companies like, you know, GM and Stellaris or whatever, move their factories back to the United States. Or they could enforce the border security and they could stop the cartels from flooding our country with fentanyl that kills 100,000 people a year. Which do you think they're going to choose? Of course, they're going to work with Trump. Of course, they're going to rein in the cartels. Of course, they're going to protect the border. Of course, they're going to stop the migrants because they literally cannot afford the alternative. The president-elect also suggested that Mexico and Canada have the absolute right and power to easily solve this long simmering problem, indicating he wanted the neighbors to do more to patrol their borders so migrants couldn't sneak into the United States. Trump also voiced frustration that the deadly drug fentanyl was seeping into the United States from China. I have had many talks with China about the massive amount of drugs, in particular fentanyl, being sent to the United States, but no avail. Representative of China told me that they would institute their maximum penalty that of death for any drug dealers caught doing this, but unfortunately they never followed through and drugs are pouring into our country, mostly through Mexico at levels never seen before. The incoming president complained. Is anybody going to deny that? Liberals? All you have to do is pull open a, you know, pull open a, a live stream of Portland or San Francisco or Philadelphia or, I don't know, Google fentanyl overdose. Right, you could ask the former YouTube CEO about fentanyl. It has touched almost everybody's life 
either directly or indirectly in the last two years. And it's coming in from China through Mexico. These are two people that could absolutely stop this if they want to. All Trump is doing now is giving them an incentive to do so. You know, you have this Mexico threatens counter tariffs. Okay. I guess libs are going to have to have a problem with their avocados again. You see, one tariff would be followed by another in response until we put at risk common business. Scheinbaum said United States, referring to U.S. automakers operating plants on both sides of the border. Nah, the United States automakers would just move back to the United States. That's what they would do. They're not going to not make cars. Okay, They're not going to not make cars. Americans will get more jobs. Everybody wins. You know, China, on the other hand, spokesman for Chinese embassy in Washington said, saying no one will win a trade or a tariff war, adding that the idea, China, uh, the idea that China is knowingly allowing fentanyl precursors to flow in the United States runs completely counter to the facts and reality. Well, where is it coming from then? You know, where is it coming? Pretty much everybody agrees that it's coming out of China. You know, um, through Mexico. If it's not, then maybe China could prove that. You know, and, and do I think that China has a vested interest in destroying the West through drugs? Yes, I do. Can I prove that? No, but I do believe that. I do believe that China has a vested interest in destroying America's youth via algorithmic promotion of degeneracy on apps like TikTok. I absolutely believe that. Um, th these tariffs, again, are just a negotiating tactic. Most of them will probably never actually see the light of day, but the benefits of them will be immediately felt. And already the entire you know flow of migrants has been shut off by Mexico. Gee, why didn't they do that for the last four years? Maybe tariffs work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to get your hilarious, perfect Christmas gift for the office gift party or someone you, a friend or family member over on tailgates for trump.com slash store link in the description Friday will be the last day that I can promise you it'll make it there by Christmas. So make sure you get your order in today and we'll talk to you again real soon.